All right, so uh, let's check the list of uh, Klonoa games that are currently available on consoles. Gotcha. Klonoa, Door to Phantom Isle for the PS1. Mm -hmm. Klonoa 2, Door to Phantom Isle for the PS2. <laughs> Klonoa for the Wii Make for the Wii. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Klonoa Beach Volleyball. What? For the PS1? And then, the, and then there's the cooking mod. I'll admit, that would be hilarious if that was actually a thing. And whip. <laughs> but, um, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this is a thing. Literally the last thing Klonoa had up until the Wii remake. Aside from the GBA games. Yeah. And then we got nothing ever again. Ever. This is the furthest we've ever gone into the Klonoa time. This is the Klonoa command. Command. I like to note that it has been nearly 13 years since the last Klonoa game. And that was on the Wii. <laughs> Damn it. And it was a remake. I know. It took me a second to realize you were talking about Star Fox, because at first I thought it was like Mega Man, like <laughs> Command Network, oh, and I'm like, <laughs> right there. God damn. So, James, what, so James, it, you're, unfortunately you don't have to tackle this alone. Yeah, no, for the sake of this here mini commentary, whatever you want to call it, I, I called Logan on my side as my partner for this little game of volleyball in the dreamscape. This thing, that's a thing. So we'll be, so be the Pyro Lady 2. We're going to do the difficulty on 2. Uh, no. Or 3. No, we're going to do it on 1. I think we did try doing it on level 2, but it actually ended up kicking our asses. Yeah, pretty ah. close. The, the AI in this game, by the later levels, do, they hold nothing back. Uh, uno momento, por favor, but... Uh, What's, up? What's up? What did I hear come out of Klonoa's mouth there? Oh, listen. Check it out here. With you pose the ref. Okay. I'm going to win. Go. What language are they speaking? That would be the, a... that would be the very exotic and unknown language known as British. <laughs> no, I, I thought it was pronounced British. British. Um, of the mountain. And, I, and, and, I, and hi, but I was thinking I'm not sure, but it may be the English. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it, th this is the for this global release they Ish. the localized it overseas in like in Britain in, in Great Britain. Yep, because oh, um, oh. so here's the funny thing about Klonoa Beach Volleyball. First and foremost, it was released on the PS1 literally after we had Klonoa 2 on the PS2. Like was the uh -huh. were they still making PS1 games at that point? Uh yeah, if you can yeah. believe that. Uh, I mean it's huh. it's like how they're technically still making PS4 games even though the PS5 is out. Yeah, larger audience. Or how they're still making just dance for the Wii. I would right. say that in that case, it's not quite as drastic, but it's like, back in this era, like, p m making PS1 games, especially after the PS2 was already out, was clearly a budgetary move, and, I mean, to give Namco credit where it was due, this was, this is a really nice-looking PS1 game. I think so, too. I mean, it's a very late PS1 game, if anything. And I, th and I and I mean, it moves really solid. My only major complaint is that, as you saw from the intro, as you saw from, the in from that intro bit where we were selecting the controls, this game is a really late PS1 entry with zero analog support. God. Oh, it's got this uh, super shot. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. Did he just head uh, the ball. He just killed Paka. So uh, why don't we go yeah. ahead and go over the gameplay mechanics for our guard yeah, beach not? volleyball? Yeah. So, uh, so pretty standard stuff. You you try to build up to a score of around well, in this game's case, ten points. And um, one thing that the game highlights is that you can in, in, you can activate a power move depending on where you're able to land your land the ball on the opponent's side. Notice those squares on on the uh, top on the top left and top right uh, uh -huh. sections. Uh -huh. Yeah. The game kind of plays with with the sort of uh, pa like a panel light up system, where the more you light up, like the more ch like the bigger your chances are to activate a special move, which can also score you more points. Right. And uh, once you, I was Mr. Krabs running around. Once you, I think once you get at least three of them lit up, you can press the circle button. I think it was mm -hmm. to activate that special. Right, and you and you and you like can send like a super smashing attack. And, oh wait, wait no, uh, clones, fakers. Clonoa and the arena. It's Clonoa. Uh, uh, there you go. What the? Also, I, th I still you? think it's adorable that. Also, I still think that it's. Uh, I, I still think it's adorable that Hugh Poe is the ref. <gasps> Yeah. Impostor! Despite the fact that he shouldn't exist. None of these characters should exist right now. But I will say... Oh! Nice. Oh. Off the bat. But yeah, I, I will say, uh, this game actually controls and plays pr pretty smoothly for what they're doing. I will admit, we were talking about this earlier, that I think the Mario, uh, the sports mix, uh, 
it, Mario, the, the sports mix really spoiled me on volleyball controls because I had to, re you have to roll up your sleeves and learn how to do it the hard way in this game. Yeah, what? I mean, granted, what I will just, say, I will say, I will definitely say to Clonoa, to Clonoa's volleyball, yeah, Clonoa Beach Volleyball's credit, it's at least a little more faster paced. That's true. That's true. Oh, that's. Uh, but yeah, and again, the a the computer AI will hold nothing back. But uh, yeah. other than that, we we did try out the story mode, which again, there is there is a story with a threat, albeit oh. a very comedic one when you see it in action. <laughs> Wait, also, I just uh, noticed that. I was just uh, sorry. I was just noticing like the music that's playing in the background. Like, um, would you is the soundtrack in, did, is oh, what did you say? are there any original tracks in this game or are they all just like recycling tracks from the other games? It's mostly remixes. I, I want to well, I want to say this one's a remix at the very least. I think the rest of it's original. Okay. And yeah, and yeah. What's up, Vicky? I was going to say I realize that the uh, the bingo board point scoring system on the uh, like the top corners. Uh -huh. It's dictated by where the ball lands on the opposite court. Yep. Right. So it's like so. So what you could do is, is that if you actually, so you move around with the D-pad as you normally would, but mm -hmm. when you actually Oof. go to press the ball and you're like in midair, you're about to hit it. Mm -hmm. You can actually, or like right here as I'm serving, you can hold a direction on the D-pad to aim where the ball is going to hit on that three by three grid. Which is how it usually works, right? <laughs> nice. Nice. And much like volleyball rules, you can literally spike and spike the uh, ball before it gets right into your court. Yeah, there's all sorts of. I know you said uh, spike, oh. <laughs> but it sounded like you said spite. You can spike spite. the ball. I mean, to be fair, we are literally not gonna run a ball, a move that's shaped in the ball. Take this. Admittedly, there is something fairly amusing by seeing yeah. all these characters playing volleyball. Oh yeah, like it the reminds me of like the Super Monkey Ball oh, and... games. And Icky, just you wait until you see some of the more ridiculous, uh, some of the more ridiculous, uh, volleyball participants said, Oh no, are you gonna get it? Oh, oh shit! No. Oh, damn it! Ah, we lost the power. Missed opportunity. And you didn't get it. Yeah. Uh, uh. That is the one thing I will definitely say about this game, is that there are specials that may look devastating, but you still need to make the shot. Right, it's, yeah. it's not, it is not a gimme. And, uh, and I think we, and I don't, I don't know if we already t covered that, but if you're wondering why... Nice. nice! Why the circles around us change different colors? This game does follow traditional tennis volleyball rules in that the people touch it must alternate. Also, please bear, please uh, humor me for just one moment. Uh, hi hey, hype! What's up? <clears throat> Wait for it. As as we get to our t score, <laughs> Mr. Squidward. <laughs> hey, Squidward. Have a bowl, Mr. Squidward. 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 That was it. That was the better one. I'm sorry. When, when they're tallying up the when they're tallying up the tile, that is oh, the it sounds like sound his legs moving. For, yes, <laughs> yes, it's the same know. sound effect. When you listen to it again, it you'll just, just close your eyes and you'll hear it. Ooh. Anyway, hey, we're hey it's freaking Joker again. And Chipple. Oh yeah, Chipple is a character that. Was, Hi, that I'm is back. Yeah, somehow. Uh, Chipple right there is actually I a character that what, was introduced. It's been so many years since I <laughs> since uh, we've done that. I that's completely not forgot my that's, voice. Uh, I was about to say that, that's not too far removed from how you made him sound. Maybe not quite as rough, but still the same. Uh, you, you were saying about Mr. Kangaroo Man? Yeah. So Chipple. Uh, Chipple is a character that was previously introduced in uh, Empire Dreams as one of the bosses that was literally transformed into a monster by the power of dreams. And uh, now he's and, here. And, 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 and yeah, he, he's here. And I think after that, I think it's with like future games. He they just decide to up and make him a kangaroo man. Was this before <laughs> or after Empire Dreams released on the GBA? I, I'm, this had to have been after, considering all the character. Like yeah, again, the arena, all the characters yeah. featured here are very much prominent in Dream Champ Tournament. So and and, and characters even and even characters from the Game Boy the? from the Game Boy titles are here, so they're definitely part of this as well. Nice. How'd you get so many points at once? Oh, because as if you look up there on the upper left, notice how there's a four point thing there now, Icky? That oh, means now if we use our super so it's like move, a bingo we'll get... card. Exactly. Yeah, and, and that means now it's a bingo we... system. So that means that now a... if James or I do our super move in, and it lands, we will you get, get four points on that, Bang! Woo! Wowza! Oh, Where you go? So yeah, that is how you can, uh, that, that is the system to play to make these games and sooner. Yeah, we get it. Thank you. Yeah, so again, 
like that. We've just trashed another bunch, oh, but uh, a now the AI, the AI is going to start getting a little bit more ruthless. So, Sludge Board Bob. It. It's a level. It's like an ASMR kind of vibe, isn't? Isn't it? You just kind of close your eyes and just kind of lose yourself. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mr. Squidward. Uh, lose yourself, Mr. Squidward. Oh yeah. By the way, we're already at our semi-final match. Garland. Oh. Yeah. So, uh, Garland here is the, I believe, is the villain of a uh, Dream Champ tournament, and he's brought along some hired help. Which is the second so GBA boring. game. It's Gantz. Frickin' from the Game Boy titles. Or in other languages, Gantz. Gantz? Because Gantz oh. sounds a bit, uh, not fu- uh, no bueno. Too much like what he's wielding right there? Yeah. And then Gantz is an anime. When I look at Gantz there, he just looks like frickin' he belongs on the frickin' Lunatics. The, the <laughs> Tunes Lunatic Squad, or whatever. Oh, yeah. It's oh, oh that's true. Nice. Jesus Christ. Christ. That's a list there. Huh. It's there. Yeah, like what Looney Tune he would be. So. Alright, time to play up. volleyball. That's a bunch of. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, 102 Dream Champ Tournament released in August 6, 2002 in Japan. February 23rd, 2005 for North America. Yeah, no, it took a lot, like, it took an eternity for that game to come down to the States, if at all. Clone Wars Beach Volleyball, however, released on April 25th, 2002. Hmm. And huh. the European uh, regions on September 20th of the same year. That's weird. That right. is very yeah. weird, because yeah. in that, that does sense, explain why I did- that does explain why I knew almost nothing about this game until we started, like, covering the Klonoa series on this channel. Yeah. Yeah. In a sense, that means that these two characters that we're playing volleyball against, this is their debut. Oh. Which is weird, when you really think about it, that considering- That is incredibly bizarre. Yeah. Aside from maybe Dream- aside from the, uh, Shifty Looks comic, this game is never acknowledged again. Yeah? Yeah, it's a shame. Oh, and as you and oh, and as you're about to start seeing here, try as we might, like there's no going back. There's no way to turn it back down. I mean, we're at level one already. The AI is going to become a lot more uh, receptive to, yeah, and a lot easy. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to try and pretend like this game is like, oh my gosh, this game is the Dark Souls of sports. No, it's, but it's definitely like you got to really mix up your plays and not aim for the same spot over and over again. You have to throw them off if you want to get them to not immediately return your, you know, your rallies. Ah! I'm sorry, are those moves in circle gear on the side of the, uh, map? Uh, I uh, think uh, You mean on so? the boat? Oh, no, in front of the boat. Like, they just popped I... up uh, around the ledge with, like, circle gear. Oh, really I, I didn't see... Holy I didn't see. I shit, you, I thought these guys. You, I thought you were referring to the little move volleyball. No, not oh, there the they are. volleyball. Oh, yeah, Which, they, by the way, right. funnily enough, um, in the story mode, the heart move character what? believes that this ball is like the leader of the moves. Wait, <laughs> what? Or something. You know what? I'm not. You know what I'm now reminded of now that you point out the. Fa oh, no. oh boy. Uh oh. Rat oh. Rat attack. Oof. And just like that, we've been blown up and. <laughs> Damn. Down. I mean, it's yeah, like we're going we up got against, blown uh, away. <laughs> it's like you're going up against a gun-toting uh, gun lunatic and an army general from Volk City. But anyway, I guess that kind of yeah. Uh, Go ahead. You were mentioning that the, the vo you were mentioning the volleyball was another moo. It reminds me of one of the settings where I don't know if it was Hoops Three on Three or Sports Mix. They might have done in both, for all I know. But in one of the Mario basketball games, you can replace the basketball with a Goomba. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was so that. beautiful. Yeah. So let's try that again and actually try to win. There was a Goomba volleyball, uh, basketball. I mean. I want to say there was like a Dragon Quest slime ball that you can unlock. Uh, no, you can actually. There are a lot of basketballs you can unlock. I know in you that can game. play as a Dragon Quest slime in, a, in one of the games, mainly because in sports I mix. Yeah. Yeah, sports mix literally lets you unlock Ooh. a slime to, to literally play all four of the sports included. Wow. I mean, literally the weirdest thing in the world to. to I mean, I mean, it was obvious who who's his favorite to pick then. Well, you would oh. say that, but then there's the cactar. Oh what? god, the cactar. Yeah, that was true. That was Ooh. true. So, wow. if, uh, given all, given your experience with the Clone Series, did you ever try or be interested in trying out Beach Volleyball? How could we even remotely play this if it was only released in Europe? But the emulation! I don't have it's, emulation! It's the cheating spirit of you the You have emulation! Game. 
No, I don't. You guys <laughs> you do, but I don't. Let... No, but, 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 okay, but have you ever had any interest in wanting to play it? Depends. I mean, I will say this much, it is honestly not that bad, bad to play with friends. Yeah. In fact, maybe someday we should try that. Yeah. Anyway, time for the finale, where suddenly Nahatum, the literal beast of destruction from the original game, is a freaking mobster in a tie. Who looks I guess God. literally like... he look literally he looks like the bad guy from Space Jam right now. He's a <laughs> I didn't know Dan Aykroyd was in this picture. In this picture, but they yeah. smell like a spy. And as you're seeing there, yeah, this is. It almost feels like the freaking Toon World from Yu-Gi-Oh! or something, where like it's just a ridiculous like parody of the original like, creature. Oh, you know what? Just there he what is. The... Not a Wait team. a minute. Why are we in Joyland? I don't know. Uh, yeah, Joyland, yeah, yeah, this is the haunted <laughs> house of Joyland. <laughs> Why? Well, now watch. Of... Now watch how this behemoth literally plays volleyball. Oh Whack, my dude. god! It just slap. Oh no. Oh boy. So I guess yeah, this kinda, is like, what it really means. He just kind of begrudgingly me. I guess this that's, is that's what his whole really move is to go the, the, me, me. the nightmares. Me. 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 Oh, he jumped oh, nice. down. Me. He just Probably looks like an X-Cloud. Well, good lord, he does kind of look like one. Dude, both a bow tie. Dude, he, dude. Looks like a, he looks like a coffee seen from above. Scoop. <laughs> <laughs> No, it, it's a Jigglypuff. It's a Jigglypuff. Can we all agree that in any universe, that is still a bullshit test of any sort of circumstance? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, oh, to actually grade your certification on a fucking... Idiot. Also, it I mean, was it a Jigglypuff. Like, it I... was a Jigglypuff seen from above, you simple I know, I know, I know that, I know that. I was just making reference, but I'm glad that you also... picked up... Go ahead. I was also going to say, I think that was the whole point of the joke. <laughs> I mean, also, nowadays, you know, like, also tests, with... tests can be that tests can be that bullshit. Yeah. I mean, nowadays also, you can go like. <laughs> it, it, it's not even the fact that it was just a Jigglypuff from above. It was a poorly done picture of a Jigglypuff from above. He wasn't even the, in the center of the picture. Yeah. yeah. Good point. It was seen from the top. You couldn't even see its face. It was in black and white. So uh, I guess while we're going back to the game real quick, funny enough, you literally like every character you see playing volleyball, especially this. <laughs> this big lummox of a volleyball player. That's oh, not a wreck. Oh, whoa. Uh oh, oh you were close. Oh, no. Because, yeah, since we were the last ones to touch it and it head out, then. <laughs> well, I guess Clinton is dead now. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, what, what was I going to say? You can unlock the. You can actually play as Nahatum if you unlock him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really? It, it, it's very much like that one uh, Gundam game or whatever. Like, you can unlock all the boss characters if you. I think it's if you either do well enough in the. In the single player, or if you play enough multiplayer rounds or something, like isn't it like an arcade tournament mode or something? Um, this is the closest thing that this is literally the closest thing this game has to that. And um, I have read it up. Uh, basically, you'll knock more you'll knock more stuff for the game <laughs> depending on how many uh, campaigns you beat. Basically. Oh, okay. All right. Makes <laughs> sense. Like you beat one, beat once is Klonoa, beat one is Lyrina, Guns. Can I just Ooh. ask, how did you do that and, twice? And there, <laughs> And there is incentive to doing it, since, like, during the credits, like, there is, like, a sort of, like, story thing that can happen at the end of each, at the end of each, each character's, like, claim to winning the day. Oh, no. In some oh, scenarios, oh, oh. can be really adorable. Uh, oh, uh, hey, James, since we mainly were playing this multiplayer, uh, what happens if you're playing single player with two characters? You are given the option to literally control one, one character at a time, or both at once. That... Sounds very tricky to sync up, depending on where they're positioned. Well, to the, to the oh. game's credit, like... Uh-oh. Oh, oh, crap. Boy. Oh, Watch out! Oh, oh, Defend it! Oh, okay. Nice. Well, I was gonna say. To the game's credit, if you are, if you literally are controlling both characters at once, uh, their movement will stop once they've made a volley. Right. All right. Okay. So also, it'll give you, give you a chance to worry at the other character. Right. Yeah. Getting so close, yet so far... I mean, yeah, you have a great corner shot right there for your nice. thing. Man, can but yeah, you some of the... oh, Sorry, go ahead. Can you imagine how much of a whiplash the finale for the first Klonoa game would have been if the Nahatom <laughs> that Gaudius resurrected was this? <laughs> that would be hilarious. Oh god, come on, come on, you can do it! It's in your head, Klonoa! Oh, what? Oh. And oh, since he didn't move, it, oh, no, let's, let's just freak out then. <laughs> God fucking damn it. <laughs> I'm okay. stupid, I'm stupid. It's just a little tense, it's all. So, so it's okay. Uh, 
Matt, I, I don't know. I don't know if I already asked, but do you oh. have if you if it, if one if such a game exists, do you happen to have a favorite uh, favorite volleyball game? Nice. Uh oh, God, I deuce. I know I have one. I just completely forgot what it was. Well, well for done. a second, I thought you were. For a second, it seemed like you were almost about to say Resident Evil before you corrected yourself. Now I'm just thinking, yeah. like, what if they made a Resident Evil volleyball game? They did. It's called Dead or Alive. So, <laughs> hey, it's <laughs> no, it's not. I know. We did it, Congratulations. Change. You defeated the King of Nightmares in a game of volleyball. Yay. <laughs> Yay, I saved the dream Ooh. world. So, now what? <laughs> Well, I mean... Uh, well, so, Mr. Uh, Squidward, why don't I come, come over to your house personally? And throw a volleyball right in your pathetic nose! And I'll say, unfortunately, <laughs> James, because I'm player two, I don't get Jack for beating the story mode if, if you do this normally. Now get out! Uh, you'll you'll <laughs> only get the ending for the first player. So Wop, wins! Hooray! Okay, so he won. Now what? Now they're just gonna play some more. Yeah, they're gonna hang out with Heart Moo and Popka <laughs> and Chippo. Because we're friends, apparently. Yay. Is Heart Moo just the is Heart Moo just the pan the bandana D of this whole entire like universe? Sure. Yes, yes Eddie. Yes, Eddie. Though unlike Waddle Bandana Waddle D, Heart Moo was only a thing in this game and this game only. Yeah. But oh, wow. that new Popka delicious voice crack. <laughs> what? That's, what, that's Popka's special move, apparently. And as they all go crazy for that move, oh no, they're all they're all going so they're all going too too pat too they're, bananas. They're falling too hard. What's gonna happen now? <gasps> Bang! Uh, Boom! They Ouch. destroy Grandpa's house and the Grandpa in it. <laughs> you better pay me for the damage. No prize money. God, that is so fucking. That is so fucked up. Who the hell was that? You, Icky, who yes. said, "What if that was gonna be Grandpa's alternative death sequence in the first yes. oh, Noah game?" Oh God! Why? Oh God! Wahoo! 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 And still better. And still better than the Wii make. Why? Yes, thank, thank you, James. I was the courteous type. I made sure to unlock uh, Leo Arena's ending as well. So yeah, because I want to know what the heck's going on with her ever since we left that, you know, X Sage after the end of the sequel. By the way, Garland actually pulls a smart move here because uh, the arena is technically a pirate, so Prize by me. proxy, she can't win the prize. What? Oh, that's what do you mean? shit. What's wrong with me being a pirate and me winning the race? You got friggin' pincers for hands. You can't even hit. You can't hit a, a volleyball without popping it. Oh, yeah, he has drill hands. How's that working? Oh, him. I get it, because he spikes the ball. But Don't I, worry, uh, though. Leo, Leo <laughs> got the upper hand of this situation. Oh, as you're about to see. Oh, ooh. Well, we're just go. Well, we're just gonna have to steal it. Oh, the prize money is safe in the mansion. <laughs> well, well, then I'll just steal the mansion. Nothing <laughs> <laughs> stopping us uh, from doing that. Hype. She literally did. <laughs> oh, <laughs> devil <laughs> tail. <laughs> <laughs> My <laughs> house. Thank you, Pat. Don't forget to invite me to the next tournament. <laughs> oh, that was uh, again like I. So I, I really, I'm gonna look up like all these other ending cutscenes because uh, Klonoa is such a cute. Okay, how about this, James? Before we end off, because I was about to say, man, Klonoa is such a cute freaking universe. I want to know what else they could do with it. And we actually, we probably mentioned it. Pro no, no, actually, we can probably talk about now. That 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 thing we saw on Twitter, James. Oh, that's right. Um, there was a there's a there's a um, Namco branch down in um, the Nordic area. Yeah, Nordic. I think? Yeah, the Nordic. Yeah, their Nordic division. And they pretty much said what's been on Klonoa fans' minds: want another game? Yes. Yes. As a person who doesn't play much Klonoa, yes. Like they have to ask. Yeah, I guess so. So I guess we're just gonna have to wait till around E3 to see how the great catfishing scheme goes. E3 2022. I mean that is that does feel like a catfishing scheme, considering the fact that like for the longest time now, we brought up in earlier commentaries that um there was a whole Klonoa Encore trademark that was established, and so far we've already got two other Namco Encore games released, that being uh, Katamari and uh, Mr. Driller. So curious to see where that's if that's still going to hold true for Klonoa, and uh, if it and does, Namco please. doxes everyone who asks for another Klonoa game. It's genius. Pretty much, yeah, <laughs> because you know. Faith in the faith of the cabinet hasn't been any lower these years. The dude needs a break. 
I know. Yeah. yeah. At, at the worst, the worst case scenario, the whole thing is just them pulling a Ubisoft being all like, we set out an elaborate scheme to make it look like we're teasing the return of the character just to get your hopes up. <laughs> just so we can release this on the semi-related pit, uh, uh, gotcha game on mobile devices. Uh, well, I guess with that said, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for our little commentary there of Klonoa Beach Volleyball for the PS1. Again, a fun little sports game, which, you know, maybe if we ever have the time and time on hand, maybe on a nice Sunday. No, thank morning. you. I'm going to okay, do fine. it. All right, then. What you see is what you get. Till next time, guys. But who's the bo- uh, the volleyball boy as opposed to the whipping boy? Ow! Spike!